crisis averted. One of our Yorkies was stuck underneath the shed. She must have gone under one spot. Then she couldn't get back out. Uh, normally I wouldn't do the ground first, but In this case, I will. These things are just too hard to handle. I don't know, again, why they make these this way. Yeah, I don't know whose idea it was to make these this way. Okay, caught it. See if it's froze down. No, not quite. Mama's got it here when she wants it. Okay, so the next job is going to be to put this motor back on. I just got it sitting there. This is where the old one was at. So this is a new one. Or rebuilt, don't know. Doesn't matter. This is a Snowway blade. And Right there is the drive for the hydraulic pump. And this is where it fastens on. This tape is just on there to keep it from uh, falling apart. I'll try to explain this to you. There's two screws that go all the way through here. There's one, there's the other. They go all the way through this and hook here and there. And that's what holds the whole thing on. Then you hook the electrical to it. And it's obviously grounded out that way too. So, if you ever got to take one apart, I looked to see, I couldn't figure out how it was held on. But it's just those two screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. I've got to be careful here because those hold on the end cap to hold the whole thing together and I don't want to lose all that so I need to index this so I gotta be careful here so it goes in there and lines up with that.
I think this is going to be a two-handed job. Seems to be lined up pretty good. Yeah, this is hard enough to do by myself, but with you guys all watching. I'm not sure if this is metric or inch, but inch seems to fit it. I'll be careful here. Don't tighten it to the point that it uh, turns this stud. Uh, Okay, that's tight. This was half an inch, right? Seven sixteenths. Good there, it's tight there. All right, so far so good. Next, we'll move the truck a little closer here.
Well, we got her plugged in. Let's see if the motor moves. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we've got to jack her up a little bit. Let's see what happens when I snug her forward a little bit. Normally this goes a lot easier than this because I've got it blocked up differently, but since it wasn't working this time there wasn't much I could do. But I'll get it. A little pry bar.
There's one. Okay, how am I gonna get this one? Ta-da! And normally I, I block the blade up in the very center And it makes life a lot easier. Then I can easily get the pry bar under it and move it if need be. All right. Now here's the, generally the hard one is the center one. way to pry that. Haven't figured it out. Ah, that worked. Oop. I see I put too much hydraulic oil in it. That's life. cover on it. Gotta put a couple more tie wraps on it. But for now, that's good. Yeah, when I was using it the other day, it just slowly quit. But let's review. These two bolts hold the motor on and you take those two bolts off and just kind of wiggle it a little bit and bring the motor off and the, all the insides and everything. Got to take this off. That's the only other connection. These two bolts and that wire. All right. So if you got to do one of these, this is a snowway. But I, I noticed there were a lot of uh, electric motors there being repaired, but they had flanges on them like a flange right here to bolt on whereas this one just has those two bolts but it worked okay so thanks for watching okay here's what it looks like with the cover back on all set already used it a little bit so we're good to go